just to illustrate this point, um, this is a little interactive exercise where we want you to name some journeys. Um, yeah, regarding your mobile phone subscription and just name any journey that might pop into your head just to get a little overview of like how many journeys, you know, a service like this already has. So just uh, let's ideate together a little bit. Just what are possible journeys? Yeah, there we go. So pay my monthly bill, check if my price is still competitive, upgrade, uh, switch from personal to business account, get a new phone. Any other? Yeah, repair the phone, exactly, yeah. Refer to a friend or a family member, interesting, yeah. Order a travel card, buy more data, forwarding a mobile number. Okay, well, <laughs> becoming a nice tsunami of different uh, services and different journeys. Um, so yeah, I mean, this, we only spend like one minute basically coming up with different ones. Cancel subscription, there you go, yeah. So you can imagine probably in real life, there might be, I don't know, 30, maybe 40 journeys that are a part of this, uh, of this service. So it quickly becomes, you know, just imagine that for every journey, there's a different team working on it and they're not actually talking to each other. You know, it becomes really blurry, like where does the uh, responsibility of one team begin and the other team end? How do all these journeys fit together? Uh, who is going to update all of that? You know, if you have 30 journeys, you know, how are you going to keep all of that up to date? So that really makes it even more clear why uh, just having all that stuff in one place is such a powerful um, a tool to have to work more effectively and efficiently together, especially if you start scaling this up across multiple teams with multiple journeys, etc. Um, so that's what the journey framework is all about.